everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make this bracelet called the Crossback Braid Bracelet. This is my original design. Um, so this I'm bringing you with another growing bracelet because if you didn't know, growing bracelets are easier to create tutorials on just because I find it easier. But, um, so this is what the bracelet looks like. If you stretch it out, like on the sides, it will become smaller, but it does have a different look. So this is what it looks like. It kind of looks the same, but it's more stretched out. So, um, that's what this bracelet looks like. And this bracelet does require three C clips. And in the next clip, I actually say one C clip, but you'll need three C clips. So, yeah. Anyways, if you are loving this bracelet, um, please give this video a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel, because I try to post videos every week. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to stop talking now. And let's just get started. So today you are going to need your loom. Any type of loom will do. Um, you can also have like a monster tail. Which I'm going to get my monster tail right now. Okay, here. I have my monster tail right here. So you can also have your monster tail. You'll also need your hook. One C clip right there. And some bands. I'm going to be using whites electric blue and mango depending on what hand you write with i write with my right hand you're going to have that the red arrow on your loom point that way so since i'm right-handed my loom's arrow is pointing to the right if you're left-handed then just turn your loom around so the red arrow is on the left so i'm right-handed so that's why it's like this before this bracelet you're only going to need six pins so that's how you can use your monster tail so i'm going to be using these six pins here uh so i'm going to take my first band and i'm going to twist it onto these two sets of pins like that and since i want the color in the middle to be a different color i'm just going to twist that a band onto these two like that. Now I'm gonna take another band, and this is another electric blue band, and I'm gonna twist them it onto this, these two pins. Let me, okay, these two pins. But I'm gonna add on a band right there, grab another band, and I'm gonna lay it on these two pins. If my shadow is blocking, I'm just gonna move the camera. Okay, so here I am with my different camera angle, just so my shadow doesn't like, oh, yeah. So, uh, now I'm going to take another band, and I'm going to lay it on these two pins here. So I'm adding on an electric blue band, and then a mango band, and then another electric blue band. Like this. So, now we are here, and there are two pins with two bands, so two layers, this pin and this pin. And we have the rest of the pins, these four pins here, with three pin bands. So we are going to hook over all the bottom layers. It doesn't really matter which order you hook them in. I'm just going to hook these over. Okay, now you should have something like this. So now we can take another band or white bands this time, and we're just gonna add them on these two pins right here. So now, um, every time you add in a white layer, we're going to do the inverted fishtail stitch on these two, these four pins. So we're gonna go through this pin, and then uh, go through the middle band, and then grab the bottom band and hook it over, which I'm having trouble doing. Grab the bottom band and hook it over. Same with the pin out here. I'm going to go through the middle layer here. Grab the bottom band and just hook it over. On this pin, do the same exact thing. Go through the middle layer. Grab the bottom band and hook it over. 
Now go through this last pin here and just hook the bottom layer through the middle band. So now we can add on our next layer. This layer is going to be the um, electric blue layer. So now I can add the mango bands, electric blue and mango. So now we are just going to hook all of the bands on the pins over. So just hooking one single band over all the pins. We're hooking the bottom band. So now we can add on our white layer again. And this is the layer where we're gonna do the inverted fishtail stitch again. So I'm gonna go through the middle layer here. Okay, so inside the middle layer now, I'm gonna go inside and grab the bottom band and hook it over. Same with on this pin. So I'm gonna go through this middle band here, grab the bottom band and hook it over. Now go through this layer here, this middle mango band. I'm just gonna grab the bottom layer, hook it over. And on this last pin, I'm going to go do the end for the fishtail stitch again. Like that. So I'm gonna show you how to do this one more time for each of the, um, uh, steps. So I'm gonna add a, a band here. And by the way, if my bands are like weird shaped. It's because I actually took apart a bracelet, the double diamond bracelet. On it's on my channel. Um, I took apart that bracelet just because I really have a full length of a bracelet in the same exact color. So I just decided to take it apart. But once you get here, you can just um, hook over all the bands on the bottom. Just like a normal fishtail or single chain. So, yeah, like that. Now we can add on another middle layer. So, well, white layer. Like that. Now we can do the inverted fishtail stitch. So, just gonna go through the middle layer and grab the bottom band and pull it over. Do that on this pin and just the four middle pins. So, like this. Sorry if I'm doing this a little fast. Okay, but this is now what you should have. You should have one layer on these two pins and two layers on the rest of the pins. So, if you're confused on how to do this, please rewatch the previous instructions. I hope I did that pretty clearly. Um, I'm gonna go off camera and finish my bracelet. If you are following along, please pause the video here. And so I'll be back to show you how to end up your bracelet. Now ready to end up my bracelet. So um, it's long enough to fit my wrist. Okay, so to end up your bracelet, you wanna end with hooking and placing the band, the white bands. So the band's going from here to here and from here to here. So now we have to add on our next layer. Like so, we just added um, three bands on these pins. And now you're just gonna hook over all the bands on the bottom, except for the top layer. So on this pin, there are two bands, so you're just gonna hook these over. On this pin, there is one. And on this pin, there are two. Same with on this pin, two bands, hook that over. On this pin, hook this over, the, bo the bottom two layers, and on this pin, hook one over. So now you're going to need to pull this band to this pin right here, and we're just gonna kind of hook this band back to where it was. Like so. So now you'll need your C-clips, and what you'll do is just clip the bands on now. So I'm just gonna attach these C-clips onto these bands. So once you've added your C-clips on and you're sure that all the bands are on it, you just wanna take these off. Now you can pull your bracelet through and we do not need our loom anymore. So here is my bracelet. So now we have to come to this side and we are going to grab the first two 
loops. These should have been your cap bands, so here's mine. I'm just going to put it on this C-clip here. Like this, so this is what you should have. Now I'm going to grab these two mango loops and I'm going to attach these onto the C-clip. Next, I'm going to grab these two loops on this side and I'm just going to attach this to the C-clip. So now they all have their own separate C-clip and now you have your bracelet. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make this bracelet called the cross back braid bracelet. I just came up with this bracelet and it is my original design. Uh, so if you do make this bracelet, Please tag me in your photo on Instagram. My username is Kalims and use the hashtag Kalims to show me. So, um, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I am posting new videos, hopefully twice every week. And that's it. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye.